Hi everyone. So today I'll be working on this old dressing table. Many of you had requested that I redo it in the comments below and I really appreciate that feedback that really motivated me to come out here and dig it out and work on it today. So thanks for that. The top looks pretty rough. As you can see, some of the veneer is chipped off and I'll probably try to fill that in with like a wood putty, you know, sand it down and paint it. Uh, the drawers, I have hopes of keeping the stained look because I kind of like the design that's on the drawers. I'm not sure if it's going to work out or not. You know, if not, I'll just paint them. Uh, the wheels are going to come off. I don't want any wheels on this piece. Uh, some of them are broken off anyway. Um, otherwise, yeah, probably just some paint and stain and maybe a glaze. Not quite sure yet. You guys know when I work on something, I often change my mind as I go, so that may happen. Uh, but as of now, that's kind of my plan. So enjoy watching as I work on this, and we'll see what happens. So now I applied this wood patch and unfortunately I have to let it sit a day before putting a paint over it or you know sanding it or doing anything with it. So that's always kind of hard for me. I'm kind of impatient, you know, I'd like to just continue to work on it, but I'm going to do it right. I'll let it set and hopefully it'll work out. It was pretty easy to, to apply, I thought. Um, I have to work on trying to get this drawer over here unstuck. Um, it's, I can't even open it. And I'm going to remove the mirror and the wheels, so I might do that today, but the rest will have to wait until tomorrow. guys so I don't like to do this but I'll have to knock out this back panel on either side here uh, to get to that drawer uh, my husband also tried to pull out those drawers and impossible so yeah I have to mess up a perfectly nice back here to get to it but hopefully I can repair it then So as you can see, I did end up patching a few of the drawers that had veneer missing. So I'm not sure am I going to be able to stain over that, that it'll be the same color as the rest of the drawer. So I may end up painting them. Okay, as I started painting with my water-based paint, I noticed that there's going to be some stains coming through. Some old pieces will do that, uh, some won't, but this one will. So I'm not even going to continue painting. I'm going to apply a primer. It's a shellac, I think I'm pronouncing that right, base primer. And I've had uh, success with it in the past where it just blocks any stains. So I'm going to apply that using a bristle brush. The reason I don't run this through my sprayer is I cannot clean the sprayer uh, well enough. It just tends to stick to the insides and it's more like an oil-based paint. So I don't want to ruin my sprayer by using it.
applied a nice thick coat of water-based white paint over the shellac primer and it covered up all those stains. Uh, the shellac already had done that, but with the paint over there, it just really evened it out. I'm really pleased at how it turned out. And the wood patch stuff I had used to fix the veneer uh, went really well too. You don't, you can hardly tell where it, where it is. And there's still some ripples in the veneer. Those were there before. That's kind of hard to fix. You'd almost have to start peeling off veneer, you know, to really uh, get to work on that. But I, I thought I'll just leave that. I don't think it's that bad. And I am so torn between, I wonder what you guys would do. I think this piece would look great with a glaze, like a dark glaze over top with all the character, these ridges on the edges, and there's lots of character along the front here. But at the same time, I really like to see it just pure white like this. So I think for now, I'm gonna leave it white. I can always apply a glaze, but uh, I have an idea for the drawers that I think would look really good with just keeping it white. Um, I really like to see those stripes that the drawers had along the front, uh, the vertical stripes, and of course I had to cover those up when I painted it. So now I cut out some stencils using my Silhouette Cameo again, and I made uh, the grain sack stripes where there's a wide one and then two narrow ones on either side. I love that design, and being that I kind of like that stripe on the drawers, I think that might look okay. And the color I'm going to paint them is called Nantucket Sound. It's a nice color of blue. I thought that white and blue would just look very cottagey. I just think that will look okay, but I'll see. I can always, you know, change my mind if I decide to do a little more distressing on this piece or even apply a glaze. guys so here we are Monday morning and I worked on this piece on Saturday didn't get it quite finished I had company Saturday night so that shortened my day up a bit which was fine that gave me an extra day to kind of think it over and see what I actually want to do with it um, I'm still kind of torn between you know do I want to apply a glaze like a dark glaze to bring out some of the character at the same time I really like this white look so I think for now I'm just going to keep it white um, I may apply a maybe Annie Sloan clear wax over the fit, the top here to just you know to protect it more, and I'm also going to add some stripes here on this piece. Originally, it also had a stripe design um, on the center here, same as the drawers had. So I think it would look okay to kind of put that in and maybe even add a word in the middle. And also, I have this little stool here that I repurposed years ago. It's not very nice anymore. Um, I think I think I'm going to apply a chalked uh, Rust-Oleum chalked paint. It's linen white uh, over top here, and maybe add the grain sack stripe to kind of go with the vanity. slight change of plans here guys. I feel like I went a little overboard with the grain sack stripes. I like it on this piece, but I feel like the stool should be different. So what I'm going to do is what I originally thought about doing and I didn't. I should have followed my instinct, but I'm going to add a layer of foam. I have it right here uh, on, onto the seat here and then cover it with this uh, ticking fabric. Um, I once bought a whole bowl of this and I still have some left. Um, it will be plenty for the uh, the seat here. I just think it will look so much better if it would be a little different from the table. So we'll see how that looks. And I have this hardware here that I'm going to use for the drawers. Uh, I just came off of an old uh, dresser and I think I'm going to paint them white. Mm -hmm. 